Well, good morning, stamping friends. How is everyone doing today? I feel like it's been forever since I was here. We had a little trip out of town. Um, we went to see our grandkids and we hadn't seen them in Georgia for nine months and we've never gone that long. So we made a little vacation out of it. So that's where I've been. Um, we had so much fun, but you know what? It's always good to get back home and sleep in your own bed and catch up. So I've been kind of camping out in my craft room working on things and I'm super excited to share with you my August class to go. I'm also getting ready for the retreat. Um, I wanted to remind you that August 1st is the deadline for this and that's in one day, <laughs> that's tomorrow. So I only have a few spots left. So basically it's gonna be first come first serve, but we are almost maxed out and um, Thank you for those of you who have already signed up. I know you're not going to be disappointed. I'm just, at first when the whole COVID thing started, I was a little bit disappointed because I thought, oh, it's not going to be like other years. And um, so I kind of turned my thinking around. And then when I saw the products, um, I was getting more excited and you are not going to be disappointed. So um, the reason I have the deadline when it is, is because I want to order on day one when I can. I don't want anything to go back order. And so... I'm just gonna um, make the deadline on the first and then hopefully um, if you're thinking about it, you will sign up today or tomorrow because like I said, I only have a few spots left. Um, the bags, as I told you before, are gonna be worth the retreat alone. They're like none other that, that we've done before and I wish I could show you a little sneak preview but um, one of my helpers is working on them and so I don't have anything here to show you but oh they're adorable okay so on to the next thing oh one more thing I will put the link on my blog again because it's probably kind of down in the feed and so I want you to be able to just click and go right to the site all right remember that um, bonus days is also ending on August 3rd so I have this little brochure for every $50 that you spend you will get um, a $5 coupon and that will be emailed to you and then you can redeem that August 4th through the 31st. So don't forget about that. That's a added little bonus um, where you can, you know, get a little bit of money and product backed for putting your order in. Uh, we talked about the retreat. The other thing I want to tell you about is, sorry, I got things to reach for here. Um, as you know, I always do plugs for joining my team, but if you are not a demonstrator already, I just really encourage you because we as demonstrators get to pre-order things and look what is going to be available soon for everyone. Everyone can order in September, but we as demonstrators get a sneak preview of these new products and the new Stampin' Cut and Emboss, let's see, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machines, that's a mouthful. We can order that on August 4th is our pre-order date. So um, if you're thinking about it, this machine is $120. Remember, if you sign up to be a demonstrator, you can get this machine for, 90, for $99 free shipping plus tax. It's worth 120 as I said, and then you can pick out another $5 item because in your starter kit, you can choose whatever you want. You could get the Stampin' Emboss machine, and then a $5 item for $99, so you're already getting a discount. And then you have, um, you know, you're able to order all your Stampin' Up! products at a discount. So it's worth it alone just to get this machine, you know what I mean? So take a look at that. You can do all the paperwork now. It's just an online um, link that you uh, go through and then you're immediately a demonstrator and then you can be ready to go on August 3rd. So there's no real reason to wait until August 3rd. So anyway, I encourage you to do that. All right, let's get to my class to go now. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you can see, whoops. Um, first, you always get to see my calendar. Um, so you can see what I'm promoting this month. And oh my gosh, I always say that. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. But seriously, this is my favorite. <laughs> oh boy, you're going to see why. I have, oops, let me zoom in a little bit. I have used this set before. And um, so it will look familiar. Um, but 
The set I'm using is Nothing's Better Than. I think I warned you that this was coming in a, re a class to go. So the dates to sign up for this class to go is today through August 10th. And you'll find the earlier you sign up, the faster you'll get your products because they are shipped directly from Stampin' Up. They, I don't wait for them to come to me and then to you. So it's called Nothing's Better Than. This is Connie Stewart's $1 million stamp set. And it really does mimic her um, blog because she has kind of a retro look and it's really adorable. So this stamp set has her personality totally in this. I just love it. And then it comes with dies if you get the suite. Um, you can't really read them here. If I flipped them upside down, they read backwards, but it's chocolate cookies, love you more than coffee and cocktails. All these are true for me, except I'm not really a big cocktail lover. So anyway, let me show you the projects we're gonna do in the class to go. Um, the first one is a day without chocolate. Look at this cute little candy bar. It's like the real thing. Now this is very 3D. So this might be one that you put in a, an envelope that you give. If you mail it, it might squash a little bit. You might need an extra stamp, but it is doable. Like look at, you can still send that. And then on the inside it's set. Okay, a day without chocolate is like, um, just kidding, I have no idea. Yeah, this one was made for me. I am a chocolate lover. So this is a little candy bar with the wrapper and DSP and you will get this DSP um, full pack in your um, kit if you choose option A or B. We'll get to that at the end. The next one, let's talk about cookies. Here's a little baking cookie sheet. You can see I shrunk the cookies down and I'll show you that technique, how I did that. If you look in the picture, most of the cookies have a bite all out of them. And I first made this with these cookies, but afterwards I went, hmm, that might look like a cookie sheet at my house, like taking a bite out of every cookie, but I thought, eh, with COVID, people aren't gonna want those cookies. So I made them into full cookies. And then the little spatula that's 3D-ish, but again, it will flatten down. So do you like that one? Today's plan, consume cookies, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. Yeah, that one's a good one for me. This one is, today is a cocktails kind of day. And all of these have a shimmer on it. The word cocktails has shimmer. I'm using Wink Estella for that, which you will get in this um, suite if you choose option A or B. And then this has kind of a shimmer to it as well. So that one's just in um, blank inside for a no, but today is a cocktails kind of day because adulting is hard. And the last one is, you know it's coming, it's coffee card. You're just like coffee. You make everything better kind of use retro colors on this. And here's our little Keurig machine. I don't know if you can see this, but there's even a coffee swirl at the top where the steam is coming out and that's in um, an embossing, <coughs> excuse me, embossing powder. So those are the four projects that will be included in this class to go. I will have the link on how to sign up and um, it's just click and then it'll walk you through. Remember, I'm not able to stamp for you, so if you don't have the stamp set, you definitely want to get that, and the dies alone are worth it. <laughs> All right, so here's the pricing on this. Option A is $85. You will get the stamp set and the dies. You'll get a full pack of six by six DSP. You're also gonna get that one fourth inch crinkle seam binding ribbon, which is white in color. You get a Wink of Stella glitter brush. You'll get the PDF for all four projects, and you'll get the make and take kit that I already cut for you with the four projects. As I said earlier, the products will be ordered as soon as I receive your order and will ship directly to you from Stampin' Up. Then the make and take kit will be sent to you from me around August 15th, and that's because I cut them all out at one time. I don't do onesies. I'd wait till the, all the orders are in and then I cut them at one time. It just goes faster. And then the PDF will be emailed to you at that same time. I think I may send it earlier, um, but I always put that in case um, I don't get to it. I'm almost done with it, but not quite. Then option B is $38. I just took out the stamp set and dies in case you already have them. And you'll get everything else listed. And that one um, will also be shipped from Stampin' Up. And then the last option is option C for the PDF tutorial. So watch for that link on my blog and on my Facebook page. 
Now, the next thing we're gonna do is I am gonna do a little make and take with you. This one is not included in the um, class to go that I just showed you. This is just another one that I'm um, promoting to show you how else you can use the stamp set. This time I'm gonna build it as we go. I'm not gonna show you the card um, at first and then um, I'll just show you as I create it. The first thing you need is just a sheet of cardstock. This is Blushing Bride and it is eight and a half by five and a half and then I scored it in the middle on the long side. So that's at four and a quarter. And then we're just gonna fold that on the score line. And our next layer, layer is going to be crumb cake. And this layer is, um, I'm grabbing my ruler here, five by three and three fourths. I just wanna make sure, five by three and three fourths. And um, let's just go ahead and adhere that right away. And, um, uh, let me get this a little bit straighter. And I don't know why I always forget to bring my bone folder. This is a tool that helps you get this um, nice and crisp on the edge. So make sure you have your bone folder handy. All right, now we can put this layer on and just center that. Now the next layer, I need my blank piece of paper underneath because we're gonna stamp off the edge. And um, we're just gonna take a white sheet of cardstock, whisper white, and we're gonna make it just one eighth inch smaller than the one that we just made our crumb cake. So this one is gonna be three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And for this one, we're gonna stamp, and the colors we're gonna use are, oops, not soft sea cream. I did the wrong green here. Let me grab my mint macaron. No wonder that one's so light. I accidentally used um, soft sea foam, but we want the mint macaron. We're also gonna use blushing bride and crumb cake. Aren't these fun retro colors? I was kind of going for that look. So now we are just gonna randomly stamp these, not too many, just all over your paper. Um, let me get my cleaner here. All right, then let's do Blushing Bride next, and I need to move these. Sometimes I dip it in the wrong one when I'm going crazy here. And um, this is what I think really gives it kind of the retro look is this little design. And then last will be the crumb cake. Like I said, you don't want to fill it up too much. Sometimes less is more with stamping, right? Okay, uh, I think that's pretty good. All right, now this one is ready to go on the card front. Let me move these and get my snail. Whoops. So what have you guys been up to? We are sweating here in Arizona. Um, it was 116 yesterday. And guess what happened while we were gone? Our air conditioning went out. Yep, of course, it's the hottest day of the year and um, that's when it decides to poop out. So that, that's what we're dealing with. All right, oh, but we do have two air conditioners and um, the one side of the house, which is where my craft room is, is okay. So we do have a place to go. We don't have to camp out in a hotel. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is cut out a piece of Whisper white paper, and we're gonna use Stitch So Sweetly, and the die we're gonna use is the scalloped one. And this one is the size, because there's a few similar, it's two, about two inches by three inches. And we're just gonna um, put that right in the center of the card. And let me get my dimensionals. Four corners is good for this one. And, um, put that right smack in the middle. The other thing we have that we're dealing with is the whole school thing in COVID and online versus face-to-face -face. and oh, we have so many choices here in Arizona. That's good and bad because we're just all over the place but I think we landed on what we're gonna do and Brady wants to go 
face to face, so that's what he's going to do. You know what? I accidentally, how did I get poke marks in there? Um, <laughs> that's going to bug me, but I don't know. I think I accidentally pierced that. I don't know when I did that. All right, so let's just put this right smack in the middle. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build something with, this is kind of like punch art. This is the um, vase punch, and we're going to use uh, this one here. So just punch that one out by itself. And I used mint macaron cardstock, and we're going to put this one down just with the liquid adhesive glue. And um, just put this towards the bottom like this. You'll have to see if you can guess what I'm making as it comes together. All right. Now the next thing I did was I took um, this die from the Stitched Be Mine, kind of like a Valentine's, but I love this decorative edge. And I just cut a really skinny strip um, of mint macaron. Can you tell what it is? Yep, it's a little ease, or uh, not an ease, all a, um, a little platter, or a, what do you call those? Those things, a pedestal goodie tray. <laughs> all right, so this is gonna go on the top, and I did, I think I have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little scallops, so that's how wide it is. Now, we're not gonna, adhere it yet because we're going to do one little thing. We're going to take this oval. This is from Layering Ovals and this is the size that is about one and a quarter by two and a quarter and we're going to cut out a window sheet and this is the window sheet. You can see that I already trimmed it down and so just cut off the bottom with the scissors. You don't even have to use your paper trimmer because the end is going to be covered up. And this is about one and a quarter inch, maybe, no, one and three eighths inch. That's how tall you want it, okay? Now, we're gonna set this aside for now, but I, or wait, let me um, show you how to attach this to this. So let me get that white paper again. I guess I should have just left this here. Okay, so put snail on the back of your little um, scallop piece. Whoops, I missed it. And then you are just going to adhere it to the bottom of this and just center that like that. So we made our little dome that will have goodies underneath it. All right, let's set that aside. Now we're going to do our chocolate. So this is just scrap paper and we want early espresso ink and our little chocolate assortment. So you will just stamp like that and now we're going to color it in and there is a die cut that fits this so I want you to cut it out next at this point and I already did that just because I didn't want to bring my big shot over here. Now we're going to color in the candy and let me grab all my blends that I used. Um, I used ivory actually. I don't use ivory a lot and we will color in, um, we're going to make our chocolates two-toned. Ivory does not have a light and a dark, so it's just going to be ivory. And um, that way we can get some different colors in here instead of just brown everything. All right, the next color I'm going to use is, um, this one is light soft suede, and I'm using kind of the finer tip on all these. And let's make this one light chocolate. Are you one of those that bites into these chocolates or pinches it so you can see what's inside before you eat it? They got smart and they made the boxes have the charts on the bottom, so I cheat and I look at that. I always want the caramel ones and not the nougat ones like maple and stuff. <laughs> kind of a chocolate snob. All right, this one is dark crumb cake. Let's do that, this color. It's a little bit darker than the one we just colored. And um, these blends are so awesome because you don't have to 
be perfect when you color and it just blends it all together and makes it very smooth. All right, and then the last one is gonna be, I think this one's dark soft. Oh, this one's bronze. Yikes, I didn't think I used that one, but we'll go with it. This one hopefully will be darker. I'm looking at my sample as I do this and I thought I'd grab, ooh, that's a nice one. So we do have three different kinds of chocolate here, but you know, use whatever you want, whatever color. All right, now the next thing I did was, I actually wanna cut these apart because I didn't want this to be that wide. And so we're just gonna cut along the black lines like this. And this one is gonna dip into the other one, but it's okay, because we're gonna layer them. Okay, so just trim that apart and cut off these little extra edges here. All right. I think, oh, I better keep my white sheet, I might need that again. Okay, here's our three pieces of chocolate cut apart. Now we wanna build this on the front of the card. So the first thing we're gonna do is take that one that has the little edge out of it, and it's not a full chocolate, and just put some glue on the back. And let's put that uh, about right there. Then the next one we're gonna do right next to it and we'll just cover up that little niche that got cut out, you know? Like this. And then the last one, of course, we wanna put some dimension in here. So let's put a one dimensional on the back and this one will pop a little bit. So that one is gonna go and we'll kind of tuck it in there, just give it some layering. All right, now we are ready for that dome that's gonna go on the top. And uh, let's see, I need my piece here. It kind of blends in because it's the window sheet. But the reason why I did it like this is because if you put a dimensional behind um, window sheet, you are gonna see it. So we had to have a way to hide it so you don't see that. So we will put a dimensional here could have probably, you know what, I think I'm gonna trim it down a little bit. I don't think you can see through it, but I'll just make it a little bit smaller in half size, like that. I would cut both of them down, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, you can't see it. All right, so take that off, and then we're just gonna set this right on the top, and it's gonna just kind of frame this in here like this. Ooh, isn't that so cute? Now, I wanted to add a little topper thing to, so you can pull it off and you know on the top how they have a little knob up there. And I took the dark mint macaron, which matches all this, and then just grab your pearls. Whoops, see that one's gonna move around. Oh, all these are gonna move. I need one that's glued down really well. And the beauty of blends and pearls and rhinestones is you can make them any color you want. So. This is going to match perfectly. And then take your little tool with the rubber on the end and it picks it up nicely, except we want it on the top side. Ah. Okay, let me try again. Of course, it's when it's on the camera. Okay, now just put it on the very tip right there and then we want it. You know what else happens when we did that dome is it's 3D. You see how it doesn't set on the card? It's lifted up towards us because of the dimensionals here. And then I wanted to add one more little bow because I want to pull in the crumb cake layer that we did. I'm kind of a matchy matchy person, aren't I? And let's make this glue dot a little bit smaller by just smushing it together. And let's put it right in the middle here. And I just made, whoops, I just made a um, tiny little bow with our linen thread and stick it right here. And there's the front of our card. Now I do want to do the inside of this one just to show you how I did it. When I do two layers, you know, normally for the inside, you probably cut this five and a quarter by four and make it a simple layer. But I found when I did classes, if I was 
two sizes were not the same, but they were off by like an eighth of an inch, you know you have to grab the right size to fit inside here. So I always just make these identical and then if they accidentally grab the wrong size, it doesn't matter because these are the same. So this one is cut down. Let me remind you of this measurement. It is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Now we are going to take our sentiment and what I did was I put these two sayings on the same block. It says a day without, and then we're gonna put the word chocolate in there, it is like, um, just kidding, I have no idea. And I wanted this one in crumb cake, a little bit lighter, like this. Whoops, I'm gonna to have to get my head in here, sorry. Oh, uh, right there. And then the next one, we're gonna go dark. We want dark chocolate for the word chocolate. And grab my chocolate stamp. And then let's put chocolate here. All right, the last thing we wanna do is tie in the little um, star-like things that we used before. And I think we're gonna use Mint Macaron and Blushing Bride for these. And let's just kind of frame the word chocolate. Like this. I always like to work in odd numbers. And then um, we will do mint macaron. I just wiped it off with my finger, if you're wondering. I know at one Stampin' Up! event, I think it was Shannon West, she licked the stamp. I might have done that once in a while, but not on my camera. All right, let's flip that over. Put some snail on the back. And we are almost ready to call it a day with this. Center that. So here's our finished card. I decided not to put any sentiment on the front because I didn't want it to take away from this. And then our staying in the middle. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this. Isn't that a fun card? Oh, everybody loves chocolate. Or if you don't, I'm sure you know someone who does. But um, I'm gonna try to feature some more um, cards and projects using this stamp set because I'm really hoping that you um, order the class to go because it's just going to be a fun one just very different cards than I normally make and um, hopefully you will enjoy that well thank you so much for um, joining me today on Friday also um, I do have to go to the eye doctor so I'm not going to be able to load all this until I get back home so check back on my blog and my Facebook page and you'll see the links for the retreat and my class to go you can go ahead and sign up for the class to go um, starting today, even though it's not August 1st yet, but I made it live today. So thanks again. Have a great weekend coming up and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.